So both phones are asleep, but let's push the home button on this one. Woo! Let's push again. Huh? All right, let's do a home button. <laughs> I'll be the first one to uh, intermingle my JC home buttons. Good God, man. How could you bend the bracket that far? Look at this. The home button bracket is horseshoed. Holy smokes. Man, it didn't get tore right here. It got smashed right here. See this? It actually got smashed in here and does appear to be broken, like completely broken. Wait, is this button put in back? Like, did it? Why won't that button come out? Is it put in from the inside out? Like, did they put this in on the backside? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that oh my goodness. This is a good candidate for the JC home button. Unfortunately, I do not have that here. Hi everybody, Jason here. I'm working on an iPhone 7 Plus that was sent here for somewhat of a repair slash data recovery. It was sent here for no image, but actually only wound up needing a screen replacement. But unfortunately, the guy has tore his home button. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, woo, woo. You're not fixing this. It's totally, completely hosed. This phone was sent here for data recovery. It is stuck at a point where it's saying press home to upgrade. I don't think the JC home buttons are gonna work for press home to upgrade, so I'm gonna try them first, and then I'm gonna switch to a tested and proven method to press home to upgrade. I'll take a quick backup of the phone, and then we're gonna proceed to test these new home buttons. Yes. All right, so here we go. We've got a black one and a white one. So let's go ahead and pull these out of the Ziploc. See what we got here. I'm sure many of you know that they rely on some sort of like a pressure pad thing that has to be added to the logic board. And I, I honestly, I don't think I'm going to be a big fan of that. I think whenever I put these in, I'll likely wind up soldering something anyways. I don't know, maybe... Maybe for the sake of being able to take it out and go back and, and go with a different style of home button later, we could do without the soldering thing. Now, if you don't know what I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll know what I mean soon because we're, we're gonna get to that. So what I would like to know, I'm wondering if these buttons will work to get the phone through press home to upgrade. I really don't think it will because toward the end of the process, you have to like Bluetooth pair it. I think this is actually like a Bluetooth home button, man, but I'm, I'm really not sure. We're, we're gonna find out. Let's grab a screen assembly. So let's go ahead and try us a black home button. I should probably go ahead and do the full-blown screen install on this thing, but uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. God, I hope I don't tear this home button cable, right? Should I just like grab it and yank on it? Uh, let's see. This one seems pretty sturdy. I have heard some reports about the actual glass part on this side falling off. Oh, it is glass too. I can hear it. Let's see. Let me put my microphone by it. Hear it? Ooh, it is actually glass. You know, you know we'll, 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 they might fall apart. You know, that, that, that's okay, right? So let's have a closer look at this thing. I mean, this is cool. This is actually like a, a home button that was not designed by Apple. This was designed by... JC and man oh man do these guys put some work into this hardware I think without googling the the data sheet on this IC we're most likely looking at something that could somehow be turned into a Bluetooth uh, Bluetooth radio we have a button that now actually has a if you can see here in the microscope I don't think you can see it it actually has a click you're clicking well guys, let's go ahead, uh, let's pop this in the screen assembly. Uh, do you think we should install it from the front side or the back side? I think we should install it from the front side. Man, people wind up getting these cables somehow plugged in like, what do they do? They like flip them, they flip them this way, right? You see what I'm doing? These people actually flip this around backwards and plug it on whenever it's really supposed to go under this, you know, underneath this, and then flip over and plug on. Guys, I'm going to be honest. When I heard the uh, these home buttons were falling apart, I thought, oh boy, that that's, <laughs> yeah, there you go. That sounds lovely. Uh, but 
the feel of this home button actually feels okay. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't feel cheap. It's it's got a decent feel to it. All right, so now I folded this around the proper way and connected it. All right, so did they use the same size threads and everything? I mean, is this a, a I dare say counterfeit? It's 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 not a counterfeit, is it? it? Must not be a counterfeit, or it wouldn't have never made it here. This came here all the way from China. All right, so we got this in here, this in here. Let's grab one more screw here and fill the last hole. There we go. The last hole has officially been filled. <laughs> the aftermarket home button. It comes with this little strip of stuff here. Good golly, man. What is this tiny little bit of stuff here? Let's look at it under the microscope. All right. So here is the stuff that this came with. Uh, we've got some little pop-out things here. This one is labeled 7, this one is labeled 7 plus, this one is labeled 8, and this one is labeled 8 plus. Which one do you think we should use? I think we should use the 7 plus, unless you want to just see if the, the 8 is backwards compatible. Uh, so here we go. We've got this thingy that has like a weird half moon shaped thingy and a couple of contacts on it. So what in the world should we do with this? Honestly, I would have no idea in the world what to do with this, but I've watched some of Union Repair's videos. So it looks like this is going to lay around this screw hole like this. And, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose this thing. Let's peel back. Let's peel back this sticky. And let's sit this right down in here. This goes in here like, it goes in here like this. Hmm. Seems a little flaky, guys. I don't like this push down on the, the two test points model here. So what is this actually doing? What are we actually connecting here? My curiosity has just absolutely, completely, utterly, totally gotten the best of me. I have my suspicions that this is entirely a Bluetooth home button and what we're doing here is just getting power to the home button. Am I wrong? So looking under the microscope, we have this like standoff thingy and it is jumpering this test point here which I believe is VDD main to this test point here which I don't know what it is let's look at uh, let's look at ZXW and see what this is so here we go here is VDD main and they are jumpering that over to this PP 16 V 0 Mesa okay now I don't know a ton about this, but I'm betting that without legitimate communication with a legitimate Apple home button, that 16V, uh, 16V0 Mesa does not come alive. So we can get away with taking and jumpering um, VCC main directly over to 16V0 Mesa. And I'm thinking what we've got here, we've actually ha we actually have a Bluetooth home button. And the entire reason for having this crazy looking little jumper thingy is to get VDD main over to 16V0 Mesa. Since it is not going to be powered, we need power going to that in order to power our newfangled home button. So let's go ahead and continue with this. We want to know if this is going to pass press home to upgrade. So let's do their normal installation procedure here. Now we have sat that on the board. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to grab their little foamy, foamy patty, spacer thing and I'm actually I'm just gonna be holding down on that I, th I think all right so let's sit our foam pad aside wasn't there a piece of adhesive on yeah there's a piece of adhesive on the back of our um, jumper this is to power our home button so let's sit this in place here let's go ahead and pull the back sticky thingy we like thingies on this channel here so let's do motherfucker let go of my thingy oh no 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 i'm trying to do a product review asshole let go all right here we go and then i think this little half moon shaped thingy is going to go here now of course they intend this would actually work okay because that, that's kind of fat it sticks up above this this hole here it is pretty uh it's pretty thick so whenever you do tighten the plate down on top of here, it is going to push on this. I normally don't agree with these push contact like aftermarket backlight bullshit type schemes, 
uh, but this um, this might actually work. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm actually going to hold down on that with my finger. Gosh, we just hooked we just hooked VDD main to 16V0 Mesa. Isn't that kind of like scary? Ooh. All right, fellas, let's see if this works. We've got our crazy looking little sticky pad thing hooked up there. We're gonna go ahead and hook up a screen assembly. And for the purpose of this demonstration, we're gonna boot the PCB, the phone, from the DC PS. And we are currently set to four volts. We're drawing zero amperu, which is excellent. All right, so we're gonna press the power button to boot in one, two, three, and I should mention, too, while this is booting, that it does have a... I don't know if you can hear it. It's got a decent click to it. It's not bad. I don't think it's going to get us past this press home to recover, though. Still waiting for it to boot. Hey, you know what? I have to say, it actually popped up pretty quick. Let's press home. Okay, so it does not work to press to pass press home to recover. Lucky for us, I have a secret weapon. What this is is basically it is a home button that will connect to the lightning port. I purchased this on Amazon. The link is in the description. So what we can do with this little jewel, we can connect this to the lightning port like so, and we can press home to upgrade. And this phone is now ready for a passcode. Isn't it beautiful, folks? I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back in a second. Okay, we are back with this thing. It has finished its update and we are up to an icon screen. Now, if I press the home button provided by JC, I am getting absolutely nothing. If I press the home button provided by the lightning port here on the bottom, it is actually functioning. So what do we do from here? Did this thing come with any instructions or no? It's just a, a, an, an empty container here. Now I did watch a how-to video from Union Repair and what they have shown us is that you have to go into settings and we have to go into Bluetooth and on the list of Bluetooth devices here, you will now see JC home. So we're going to press JC home and then we're going to hit pair. So we're basically, we're essentially pairing this phone with a Bluetooth accessory. So now that that's paired, we can press the home button. We're right back at the home screen. Perfectly fine. Let's double press it. Now the home button is working guys. Let's get rid of my lightning fangled home button. Hook a charger up here so that this thing don't self-destruct and like shut down. And uh, we have a, uh, we now have a working home button. Now I assume that if we were to turn Bluetooth off, we would no longer have a working home button. So let's go ahead and turn Bluetooth back on. And there you have it. We have a working home button. This is actually a Bluetooth accessory. And by putting this little jumper thing on the motherboard, all we're doing is providing four volts for this thing to power on. So it does actually work. It just doesn't survive the press home to upgrade. You know, it's not, it's not an actual home button. You know, it's not gonna work if the Bluetooth and the phone doesn't work. Um, and of course it's not gonna work if the little jumper thing comes loose, but it does give you a functional return to home button in the exact same spot that the home button was in. Now, touch ID is not going to work, but um, it's a home button. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what else to say, guys. So um, that is going to be the end of this video. If you like the video, I would greatly appreciate it if you click the thumbs up button. If you don't like the video, <clears throat> click the thumbs down button. And um, I, gosh, I thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. Have a good day, everybody. Um, I've got now two phones laying here. I've got the customer's phone and I've got my phone and I see the customer's phone is connected to the JC home button and it's not on the list for mine. So let's tell this little dude here, let's tell this thing to forget about that stinky home button. Oh, and as soon as we do, look, the home button pops up available on mine. So let, let's pair it. Let's go ahead and put this phone to sleep. So now we have uh, this phone on the right here paired up with the JC home button that is actually installed in this phone on the left. Oh, come on. So now we're going to push the, uh, let's see, let's lock this phone. So both phones are asleep, but let's push the home button on this one. Woo! Let's push again. Huh? All right, let's do a uh, home button. <laughs> I'll be the first one to uh, intermingle my JC home buttons. Okay, let's turn Bluetooth off. 
Turn Bluetooth back on. Now I'm holding down on this pad over here, so JC Home is on the list, and it's going to work. But if I let go of this pad, it might actually disconnect. So guys, I don't think the pad's a good idea. I think they still will need soldered. Or, you know, if I was doing this as the directions say, the directions um, that Union Repair posted, they say to put the metal plate over it and tighten the screws down, that would work too. Uh, so at any rate, this phone over here on my left-hand side is off, and if I push the home button, still works. All right. Totally cool. That is a Bluetooth return to home button. It doesn't need all these pins. All it needs is a positive and a negative. What in the heck are all these pins going to? I bet there's I bet there's only two wires going to this connector. What do you want to bet me? Because it only needs power. It's just a this is just a USB home button. Like everything that you see here is for the sake of lighting up a Bluetooth connection. All these components, I'm not I still haven't Googled what that chip does, but I'm willing to bet that all it does is gets power. Let's see. Let's follow. Oh, oh. What do we got here? We've got a ground wire here. Yeah, and then we've got a positive wire here. Do you guys see that, or are you are you following along? Two wires, ground and then positive, and that is it. That that's all that's going to be going to this thing because because it is simply a uh, Bluetooth accessory. Not a bad idea, and it's actually functional. Um, doesn't matter if your neighbor pairs up with your home button because it's uh, there's nothing there for them to hack. But it is a Functioning home button, guys, and as far as it falling apart, man, I'm not seeing it. This thing seems to be really well engineered. The actual button itself sits down inside of this ring. And uh, anyways, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rant on about this any longer. I think we figured this out. Uh, Bluetooth accessory, positive and negative, coming into this monstrosity, and it simply enables this to be Bluetooth. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.